So in string matching brute force algorithm, if you have given a pattern of m characters, this is to be searched in a text of m character. In this algorithm, what you are doing is, you are aligning the pattern at beginning of the text and then move from left to right, compare each character of the pattern to the corresponding character in the text until either all characters are found to match or a mismatch is detected, you will be performing this step. So that is while mismatch is det detected and the text is not yet exhausted, realign pattern one position to the right and you are required to repeat the step two. So every iteration in case mismatch occurs and the text characters is not being exhausted, you will be moving or you are shifting the pattern one character length towards right. This is what brute force string matching is. And the comparison of the pattern characters with the text is from left to right. Okay, now we will see another way of finding a solution for string matching algorithm. In Herspool algorithm, first, if you have given a pattern, for that pattern, generate shift table. So once you generate the shift table based on the shift values for each character, depending on that, you are going to shift the pattern. Every iteration, you need not have to shift the pattern by one position. Instead of that, based on the shift table value, you are uh, like uh, shifting the pattern towards right. So it is not one character, it can be more than one character also. <coughs> and here, the comparison is not from left to right. Instead, the pattern characters is compared from right to left. So I'll take this example here. In the case one, look at here, S yes and R. It's not matched and not from left to right right to left we are matching here and s is not there in the pattern so when that is the case uh, the pattern is shifted by its entire length that is six character length it is shifted towards right in the second case look at here b is compared with r b is but b is not matched with r but b is contained in the pattern. In this case, you have to align the pattern in such a way that pattern B is to be aligned with the text B. So, then with what length you are required to shift towards right? 1, 2. So, one uh, 2 character length you have to shift towards right. In this third case, 2 characters is being matched but M is not contained in the pattern. So, in this case, again, even though two characters is being matched, when this kind of scenario occurs, you have to shift this pattern again by its entire length. And here, last scenario is, here one character is being matched, and A, when you try to match with E, it is not matched, but, since one character is being matched, you have to realign the pattern in such a way that because R is again repeated here in the pattern. So, how you are required to realign? So, that this R is to be aligned with the text R. So, like this, you are required to shift the pattern based on the shift value. Okay. So, we'll see how to calculate the uh, shift values for a given characters of the pattern. First, let me explain the Haspool algorithm. In the first step, you are required to construct shift table for m characters of the pattern. Then align the pattern against the beginning of the text. Next thing is, so here you have constructed shift table for all the m characters of the pattern. Then, in the next step, you have aligned the pattern against the beginning of the text. 
the third uh, step repeat the following until either a matching substring is found or the pattern reaches beyond the last character of the text so start comparing the last character of the pattern uh, and the text characters until either all m characters are matched then you are required to stop this uh, and you have to return it's a successful search uh, that is you have to return the index where you have found this pattern that index you are required to return and a successful search otherwise you have to retrieve tc from the c column of the shift table where c is the text character currently aligned against the last character of the pattern and shift the pattern by tc characters to the right along the text so we'll see here uh, so instead of explaining the this uh, shift table let me explain with the example the pattern given here is bao bab so for b look at here in case so if the text character matched is b b is again appearing in the pattern so you have to again realign this b so with how many characters you are required to shift towards right so two characters in case if the text character here is a a then so in order to align this pattern a with the text a you have to shift this pattern by one character length and o in case here text character is o then you have to shift this pattern by three character length so for b it is two for a it is one and for o it is three and remaining all that is whatever may be the character other than o b a for remaining all the character alphabets so assign six that is because none of this character d e h i all these characters is not contained in the uh, text uh, sorry in the pattern so in case the text pattern uh, sorry te text ca character matched is these characters other than o b a there is no point in shifting by one character length all that instead of that so even if you shift it by one character length two character length there is no possibility you can match the text character with the pattern character so if other than these three character o b a you are required to shift the pattern by its entire length so once you have found the shift uh, table sorry once you have generated the shift table next uh, step is you have to align the pattern with the text uh, towards the beginning of the text so when you align here start matching from right right to left the last character of the pattern b is matched with l of the text since l is not at all there in the pattern look at in the shift table what is the value of l it is equal to 6 so you are required to shift the pattern by its entire length that is you have to shift by 6 characters length so when you shift by its 6 characters length here like this b is matched with b and here space is matched with a now look at for space uh, space is not not at all uh, there here so because uh, uh, it is not there in the pattern so other than the characters of the pattern you are required to shift the pattern by its entire length that is for this it is equal to 6 now for space it is equal to 6 and here uh, before mismatch occurs the number of uh, when you do the comparison here this b is matched with b in this case if k characters are matched before the mismatch occurs then you have to shift like this shift distance you are required to calculate 
it is equal to Tc minus K. That is, for space it is 6 minus number of characters being matched is 1. So, 6 minus 1 is 5. So, you are required to shift by, uh, by 5 characters length. Then the next step, here A is matched with B and A. <coughs> so, for A, here shift value is 1. So, in this case, you are required to shift by 1 character length. Now, S is matched with B. When S is matched with B, it's not uh, contained uh, in the pattern. And look at the shift value for S. It is equal to 6. So, again, you have to shift by 6 character length. When you shift by 6 character length, then uh, that shift value is going beyond the number of characters in the text. So, with this, you can conclude that pattern is not contained in the text written unsuccessful search. That is minus 1 here. So, next step. So, we will see in the next uh, case scenario here. <coughs> So, one more example here. Uh, so, this is a text given to you. You are required to search for the pattern Berber. For this Berber, we will see how to construct the shift table. Okay. So, look at here. <coughs> so, E. For E, in case if here you are getting E, then how do you align pattern E with the text E? For that, you are required to sh shift by one character length. Okay, for E, shift value is 1. And for B, the shift value is 2. And for R, it is shift value is 3. And A, it is equal to 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, you are required to shift by 4 character length. Then you can align this A with that is pattern A with text A. So, we will see how we can do this. So, we have calculated or generated shift value or shift table for all the characters. That is 6 characters of the pattern. And for remaining, uh, remaining characters, shift value is equal to 6. Now, align the pattern with the text uh, text towards the beginning. Now, A is matched with R here. So, because uh, comparison starts from right to left here and A is not matched with R but A. Look at the shift value for A it is equal to 4. T A is 4. 4 minus 0 that is 4. With 4 character length you are required to shift the pattern when you require when you Shift by 4 character length. Now look at here. A is aligned with this A. Start comparing from right to left. E and R is compared here. It's not matched. For E, shift value is 1. So 1 minus 0 is 1. So you are required to shift by 1 character length. So now you are comparing with underscore underscore is not matched with r that is 6 minus 0 6 6 character length you are required to shift towards right now b and r is matched b for b it is 2 okay 2 minus 0 that is number of characters being matched before the mismatch occurs is 0 characters 0 characters is being matched before the mismatch occurs so so, 2 minus 0 equal to 2. So, 2 character length you are shifting here. So, when you shift like that, here R is matched with R, but A is not match, matched with E. And for E, it is 4. 4 is the shift value. And the number of characters being matched before mismatch occurs is 1 character. So, 4 minus 1. Look at here. 1 character 
character is being matched before here or is matched a is not matched look at the shift table here value is 4 4 minus 1 number of characters being matched before the mismatch occurs is 1 1 character so now the shift length is 3 so shift the pattern by 3 character length now do the comparison from right to left all the characters is being matched so now the algorithm will return this index that is index 17 where it found the pattern bar bar now this is how you are doing the comparison in Haskell algorithm but in brute force so here the comparison comparison is being made from left to right and in case of mismatch occurs you are required to shift the pattern by one character length but in her school the comparison is being made from right to left in case of mismatch occurs then the pattern will be shifted based on the information of the shift table so depending on that the pattern will be shifted so with that the number of comparisons we are minimizing in order to optimize that time we are using extra space in order to store the information of the shift table so we are ready to compromise space at the cost of time okay so this is the advantage you are going to get from input enhancement because additional information we are storing for the pattern so with what length you are required to shift the pattern in case of mismatch occurs so this is how you can minimize the number of comparisons in Herspool Herspool algorithm by adding additional information to the input okay so now uh, Compared to brute force string matching algorithm, Herspool is efficient, but there are still some drawbacks with the uh, Herspool algorithm. How to address that drawback of Herspool algorithm will be discussed in the next video. That is Boyer Mori string matching algorithm. So that we'll discuss in the next video.